Welcome to One Night in Roxburgh, Part 2, Discovery. Again, the cutscene subtitles are in French, sorry, the voiceover is in French, subtitles are in English, so I will not be reading out and competing with the voice. So read the subtitles. Too many secrets forever lost. Too many lies. Too many inventions. Many questions were made. Many were given the wrong answers. Important truths have yet to be discovered, but the sole truth will erase the fog that is our world. Summon of Interpreter Tessa. m'introduire dans les murs de la ville. Malheureusement, c'est un véritable labyrinthe. Ils sont beaucoup plus vastes que je ne le pensais. Et comme si cela ne suffisait pas, il y a un véritable attroupement de gardes. Pire que Scholzgate. Il se passe de drôles de choses dans cette ville. À plusieurs reprises, j'ai croisé dans les couloirs des réfugiés. Et j'ai entendu toutes sortes de rumeurs. Toutes plus folles les unes que les autres. La ville serait devenue folle, dévorée par des hordes de morts vivants. Ah, des morts vivants. On m'a dérobé un œil, j'ai tué un dieu et je suis avenu à bout de la folie d'un homme. Que peut-il m'arriver de pire De toute façon, tant que je suis en ces murs, les morts sont le cadet de mes soucis. Ouais, quoi Oh, des couloirs plein de courants d'air. Un 
même s'est approché de moi, on avait soigné mes blessures. Mais où suis-je Et quels sont ces rêves Je n'aime pas ça. Dans quoi me suis-je encore foué Right, that was a uh, pretty long and involved cutscene. Um, but when he's just climbing the ladder, and like, oh no, who falls off? It's hilarious. Uh, ladder is the carrot's worst enemy. When you wake up, a man is standing over your bed. He you heals your wounds. The light of the candles blinds your eyes, and you try to recover and get your wits about you. As you focus, you see the man insistently pointing you to a letter on the table, without saying a word. You'd better read that letter. Now you're inside the city, let's earn a little money. Steal... Hmm... 4500 in loot? Sure, experts seemed okay last time, right? This is in a major crisis, there's already enough blood in the street. Do not kill anybody. Or at least... No human beings. I didn't mean for that to happen. I won't say it again, miscreant. Get lost if you want to keep your head. <clears throat> Letter? Me? Hello? Hmm. Nothing there. Garrett, a good evening to you. I am Estobius. You may wonder how I know your name, but the answer is simple. We have mutual friends. Subtle and surreptitious friends. Be cautious, for their name must not be pronounced in this place. Furthermore, I apologize for not talking with you, but this is no fault of my own. A forced stay in Crags left some time ago deprived me of the ability to speak. Thanks to the gifts granted me by our common friends, I have treated and aided you. Consider yourself fortunate, because I found you in extreme distress. You landed in a security area, and would soon have been taken by the Builder's children. Much has happened, but I will try to explain the situation concisely. Four days ago, they put the town to fire and blood. According to the stories I heard, they erupted in the vicinity of the Builder's Cathedral, near the heart of the town. No customary method of eradication has been successful. I suppose this is a manner of invasion similar to that in the Cathedral District in the Old City. Perhaps you know that place? But that outbreak was of evil origin and belonged to the realm of mysticism. The incidents in Roxburgh possess the character of something entirely different. In fact, the Hammerite -like blessings seem to have lost their potency, and the undead appear to be capable of intelligence, of coordination and thought. These creatures do not stagger in unending circuits, seeking flesh to devour. Rather, they seem to plan and communicate among themselves with evident success. Likely, this ability spurred the speed of their invasion. After two days, they had broken into a substantial area of the town. Worse, these monsters add to their ranks through the simple act of biting, no matter how benign. Like an epidemic, their bite contain can their their bite contaminates all forms of life. Three days ago, the religious factions on the town watch established a quarantine belt that managed to contain the eruption. Currently, Roxburgh is divided into three kinds of areas. Infected areas, where the undead roam freely, security areas that surround these, and lastly, safety areas, where survivors are transferred. Although we reside in a safety area now, you fell in a security area two blocks from here. The authorities, spiritual and otherwise, seek to regain control of the town, and they intend to hold everyone inside the walls to prevent news of the incident from escaping to the countryside. The Watch has already established their form of martial law, isolating the town and its scourge from the rest of the region. Roxburgh is no more than a golden cage. Our common friends warned you, but nevertheless greed almost cost you your life. Artemis has come from the city and he waits for you in the Hammered Barrack Inn. I believe he brought supplies. Also, he sent simple plans he drafted for you. And of these, I know nothing more. With this message, I give the key to his room. Please hurry and join him, and try to escape any attention. The survivors work too frantically to deserve distraction, and the town watch are wary of everything and everyone they do not know. Until next we meet, Estobius. Key to Artemis' room. Thank you, Estobius. 
Mm -hmm. Same to you. Okay, so a little. There. This place must be getting to me. A little mm -hmm. word of warning. Uh, this is the second time. Gee, I must have imagined it. You say that. Mm -hmm. It's the second time I've uh, played this part of the mission. And I must be getting sleepy. Yeah, I don't understand why there's all these unsettling remarks. But the idea right here is that this is a safe zone. As long as I, this isn't really communicated well. But as long as I uh, don't mess with anyone too much. Say it again, miscreant. Get lost if you want to keep your head. As long as I don't like draw any weapons or mess with anyone too much, it should be okay. <coughs> I mean, drawing, you know, drawing my bow, like picking up arrows, turns out fine. Hey, mate. What are you got in your toolbox? Nothing for me. What a shame. So, this time, we have a map. I guess we're up here at this WSF place, and I need to head down to the uh, Hammer Barrack Inn here. Here is the Mechanist Cathedral, but this is a security zone, I believe. I guess that's what the dots mean. And then that would be the boundary of an infected zone, maybe? I don't, I don't quite know how these two maps connect. It says north is sideways, which is unfortunate. Which way am I going right now? Oh, we don't have a compass. You are, you've had quite enough to drink already. You won't be doing that. Hello. Notice to all citizens. All are prohibited to leave a safety area unless accompanied by a member of the City Watch, the Hammerites, or the Builder's Children. To maintain security and avoid any potential risk of contamination, anyone seen alone in a security area, an infected area, or even inside the city ramparts shall be executed and cremated on capture. If you feel a sensation of burning, prickling, or of nausea, warn the nearest member of a religious order. If you notice any suspicious behaviour, notify the nearest watch officer. So I guess that's this gate here, yeah. It's locked, and I don't have my lockpicks. Basically, I don't have any equipment. Just so dropped it all at the bottom of that ladder. Hello? Notice to all citizens, the lists of the missing and dead shall be posted in these places. Pubs, inns, restaurants, guard or watch stations, the high quarters of the militia, and on doors throughout the city. The list shall be updated every evening at 9pm, and every morning at 11am. If someone in your family is missing or dead, inform the nearest member of the city watch. If a friend of yours is missing or dead, inform the nearest member of the City Watch. If you know the whereabouts of someone on the list, inform the nearest member of the City Watch. Notice to all citizens, a murder was committed in the safety area of Clockbrook Quarter last night. During a crisis, the security of the city is at risk, and the City Watch is searching urgently for any information that will aid in solving this case. There are rewards available for those who help. Important. Following the escape of the outlaw, Raoul the Brown, a great reward will be offered to anyone who has reliable information concerning the Rats of Roxburgh, and a greater reward will be offered to anyone who kills one of its members. Well, that's not going to be me, I'm not allowed to kill anybody. Hmm. So, um... There's nothing. Yes, first alert still see happening, but... Last time... I uh, spooked everyone here because it turns out that's. They used a rope arrow here into the wood, and um, that kind of got everybody on edge. And I think I must have done it again similar. Because I got. Say, where Hal and Jostman? Yeah. I think they were sent to Sergeant Malcolm's area. Uh, I feel sorry for them. You know what the sergeant's like. Yeah, and we don't get to count on flushing anything much longer. <laughs> You're so right. I uh, I heard yesterday evening there was a real slaughter. We even asked the mechanists for help with their mechanical thingies and all. 
<clears throat> whatever though, I'm sure it's linked to those Orientals somehow. In the last hour or so I've entered the inn, I think I almost bumped into Orn Orash himself, or whatever he's called. I've heard of him. Known to be trifled with. That's what I heard. Yeah, to sit they have pagan magic or something. Bad things happen to people who piss them off. I hear them in vanishing. Poof. Turning up missing bits and pieces. Like their heads. Ah, I thought it was just a joke. I saw him not more than an hour ago. You gotta be tapping with me, right? Nope. <laughs> 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 Laugh while you still can, Taffer. I'm off to me rounds. Have fun. The next gate is this one. Uh, okay, we've heard that one. So yeah, last time I managed also to speak pretty much everybody in this area. I'm not quite sure how. I don't, I don't remember how. And uh, everybody chasing me down the street when I tried to come back out of the pub. This is the pub here, by the way. Uh, it was pretty funny. Hey man, there's a nice thing you got there. Is it valuable? <laughs> well, a real body's happening down here, right? Hey guys. I mean, I could keep going down the street again. Right. What's this? Ah, uh, list of missing and dead. Yeah, a long list. Wow. Busy day? You know what? I might just turn the lights off. I'll have it, you know. Got some food while I can. Hello. What do you got going on here? Some kind of bags of stuff. Oh, but then let's, let's go missing anyway. I hope not. Alright. Nice brute you got that. So yeah, last time I tried to sneak through here and thought I was successful and then it was only on the way back that I realized that actually I didn't need to sneak at all, so my successful sneaking was just because nobody was actually uh, noticing me. But it also led me to discover that I don't notice when I steal things, so that's okay. Hammered at the Hammered Barrack. The Diary of Lady Melonia, Interpreted Aristocrat to Brockburg. Blah blah blah. You've looked through pages of twaddle from a spoiled old money daughter. Truly fascinating. Day 21. It has been three days since my last entry, for all the fuss and bother of late. 
I gather there has been some plague or other run rampant in the dens of the city. It was at least the piffling reason the Hamrites gave for sending us packing with nary a day's notice. The religion has certainly forgotten its place. Our livery man hath found us chambers for the night in this so-called inn. Truly an awful sordid place. My wine glass was covered in dust. I could scarce believe it. Moreover, no one was there to wait on me with the manager's paltry excuse that they do not have enough staff. One shouldn't find that all that surprising, since they appear to have wasted so much money attempting to restore this grotesque old building that they couldn't have had much left with which to hire proper servants. And I shan't mention the food. The cooking was simply horrid. Oh, whatever happened to the mechanists in their service? And there isn't even a bath. Intolerable. I won't forget the clockwork water. I've decided I shall not tarry one minute longer in this place. I insist on returning to the family man's. And no petty lower class watchman shall stop me. Day 22. How disastrous today has been. I lack even the courage to write. How poorish they were to turn me away so violently. Me! But regard... <sighs> I'll read tomorrow. Ah. Terrible place. Unfit for... Okay. So where's Artemis hiding now? You're not Artemis. You haven't the chest though. We got a purse. That's not empty. It's locked. Locked. Hammerite service in progress. May the builders of Hammer smite any who dare disturb our brother's prayers. The salvation of thy soul is at stake, heretics. Alright, where's, where's the key? It's not that one. It's not that one. That's the one we just went in. Aha. Uh -huh. Artie! You here? What the? I wonder how I can do Well, where is my equipment? Players, compass, mine, flash bomb. One flash bomb, okay. Uh, five broadheads, twelve water arrows. And uh, a noise maker. Alright, my lockpicks, finally. Garrett, if you read this, it means that Estobius has helped you and explained the situation. So I will be brief. First, please forgive me for not meeting you in person. There are some in this town who would resent my presence, and I fear they have noticed me. Also, the Council of Keepers must gather in the city to appoint a new first keeper. There, too, we will commence the reading of a prophecy that may affect us. Due to the confluence of these circumstances, my continued presence here is unadvisable. Though you chose this town by chance, my stay here was by design. Some days ago, three keepers, including myself, arrived in Roxburgh, sent by order of the council. My instinct was that we were to observe you, but it became clear that our mission was to investigate an organization, similar to ours, but with patterns of actions that led us to dark notions. Our discoveries confirmed our suspicions. Alas, for this knowledge, my two companions paid the highest price. One of my fellows, Lucian, was killed somewhere in the Red Place district. The other, Remy, and I became separated and I had no option but to leave him wounded behind me. I hope he still lives. I left you a message of warning at Garibald's two days ago. Knowing your distaste for warnings, I should have written something different. Now there is only one path. You must leave Roxburgh. Under the inn you will find a secret passage that leads into the sewers. But before taking this passage, I request the use of your talent. Strange events are occurring in Roxburgh, as you know. We believe this sect is their cause, just as it is the roots that sustain the poisonous plant. We know of a stone called the Soul Heart that is maintained in one of their sanctuaries, doubtless in the Red Quarter. If our theories are correct, you must take the stone and bring it to us, so ending the chaos before it passes beyond the wall of the town. Also, I ask you to bring the bodies of the fallen keepers to my room. A difficult task, but one that the Order and I would deeply appreciate. I will recover them through contacts and methods I should not explain. If Rami is still alive, bring him to Estobias, who may be of help to him. For us to act in so direct a manner is unusual. We prefer to maintain balance. This you know, and so you must understand how gravely we view the situation. If you accept my request, we will once again owe you our gratitude. If you refuse, we must attempt another solution, 
one that endangers the town of Roxburgh and our organization. I will explain all to you at the proper time. If you encounter problems, you may rely on Astobias and Garibald. They are trustworthy men who will not hesitate to help you. Sardinia is also a worthy friend, but she disappeared shortly before we arrived. Another worrisome fact. I will gather some equipment for you, but more may be needed. Yet this town radiates a strong energy of unknown origin. I fear this may hinder my ability to aid you, but nevertheless, I will do my utmost to guide from afar. Time is short. I must leave, but our faith in you is without limit. Good luck, Garrett. Artemis. <laughs> Given the situation, it would be wise to get your hands on a sword just in case. Okay. Seems that the source of all this mess. Seems that it's the source of all this mess, so try to get back the soul part. After all, the keepers will be in your debt. It looks like one of the two keepers is still alive. Find him and bring him back to Estovias. Now, the objectives know that he's alive. They know more than Artemis does. The other keeper is dead, but find his corpse and bring it back to Artemis. Who knows what they could do with it? Forget the cathedral, you've got to get out of here. There's a secret passage in the sewers right beneath the inn. Find a way to get down there. Well, I mean... Isn't the cathedral maybe a place where the... Thought it? I don't know. Maybe not. Once you're in the sewers at the inn, find out Mr. Secret Passage and escape. Steal 4500 and loot, blah blah blah. This sex seems very powerful. You already have enough problems without making more trouble for yourself. Do not kill any high members of the hierarchy. Okay, I would have thought... Do not kill anybody who would have counted for that, but... I don't know, the high members of that hierarchy are undead. Let's see what these other rooms... Go, shall we? Should have saved. I have lockpicks don't count as suspicious. Control chest. Mm -hmm. It's a guarantee it's like so easy to grab whatever loot might be inside his chest. He just opens it immediately, picks up everything. Mm Now that the town's full of undead, I still need to get 45 of them loot, right? My loot's very important. Hmm. I wonder if you'll notice me quick, miss. Hello? Who's there? I wonder if he'll be. That, uh, sneeze is the first. The first <laughs> and the sneeze is like uh, almost you get the same sound he makes if he sees you suddenly it's like a surprise. You don't mind me being in your room, do you? No? That's cool. Do you hide anything down by your bed? Doesn't really look like it. I'll leave you now, you can go back to sleep. This place is getting to me. Oh, I can't believe I left an apple there. Alright. We're on the locked door here. As well as a way out. Oh no, there's a locked chest, that's right. Strange people here are very worried about weaponry, especially the things like rope arrows, which are harmless to humans. I don't mind at all someone stealing that stuff, so you know, I'm cool with that. So, well, I don't want to go outside yet. What's my objective? Yeah, just like, find a sword and try to get into the security zone to find the soul heart, right? There's another locked door down here below the stairs, but no, I haven't been down here yet either. It's just like a back door. Okay, 
Okay, that's gonna need a key. Why am I walking everywhere? This just seems like the thing to do. In a in a zone where I'm supposed to be you know, pretending to be normal. Excuse diary, day one. Ah, I finally have some time to begin my diary. It is somewhat strange to write for oneself. Well, I guess the beginning is the toughest part. Work goes well. It's three weeks already since I bought the Hammerite warehouse. The town offered it up for a good price. They seem to be having a laugh about the whole thing. Chased off by the mechanists, they said. The hammers didn't even have the chance to close up properly, and we spent a whole week cleaning up the mess and getting rid of all those churchy trinkets. The mechanists took them off our hands. Who knows what they want with them? Probably just melt them down in their furnaces. I must have a word with them about the water. I need a cistern or something like that installed. I'll have to modify the sewer access. I might make a deposit for the barrels and the rest of the material. Day 5. Just to write down the new name of the inn, the Hammer de Burrick. A tramp gave me that air. He was a pagan, most likely. It made me laugh. Can't wait to see the faces of those hammers when they see the name. Day 6. The major part of the restoration job is done. I'd have never guessed the bolts in the Great Hall would take so long to fix up. The builders are gone for now, so the place is quiet again. I sent them off with a crate of wine, the kind of plonk I would never have dared sell my clients. <laughs> Poor guys. There's still the plumbing to redo for the future kitchen, but other than that, the only thing is left are cleaning and arranging the bedrooms. I need to find a regular wine supplier, and I wouldn't mind using the mechanist. Why couldn't I, after all? I'll go meet them at the warehouse next week. Day 8. I miss the days back when the mechanists had just split from the hammers. They were much nicer then. May the builder guy be with your projects, but we cannot deviate from our tasks for such trivialities. <laughs> I'll manage without them, but they'll have to brush me well to get any discount from me. Thor is Stuart has taken charge of the kitchen. He's rude and stinks like a burrock, but boy can he cook, and he doesn't take all day about it either. I should be able to open it in another couple of days. Day 9. That's it. I've received confirmation from a brewery supplier. I'll go meet him to place the orders, then open tomorrow. I must think about employing two or three guards just to keep things from getting rowdy. It seems the pubs from the Black Market and the Grand Canal have been closed by the town watch due to fraud or theft. All of a sudden, my inn will get customers from three districts. This has the smell of pure gold. Day 14. Ah, oh, dear diary, the opening of the inn has taken most of my time. But I finally found a moment to write. Business is going pretty well. Now I'm sure it was all a great idea. I've just been to visit the mechanists about the sewer access. I don't really care, but the girls don't want to go down to the storeroom. They say they can hear weird noises coming from the sewers. I have noticed nothing. Methinks it's the thought of coming across Stuart down there that upsets them. Whatever it is, the mechanists told me they'll close off the passage, but they aren't too worried about it right now. Apparently their order is going through important changes. I've heard rumours about the death of Karis, so maybe there's something in that. Day 17. Now I'm nervous. I caught some drunkard, Perry I think, drinking with Raoul in the storeroom. They finished up five of my bottles. I've hired some more guards to prevent patrons from getting into the stores. Perry is banned. He'll have to find someone else to get drunk. He also tore down our banner, so now I have no sign for the inn anymore. I've ordered a new banner from the mechanists, made of their super solid fabric. I've ordered the other guards to watch Raoul until I find a substitute for him. That'll teach him. The mechanists have given me a key to access the sewers. That way, to get in the storeroom, well, my permission will be required. It's better than nothing. I'll have to come up with a better solution, but that can wait. Day 20. I'm such a lucky man. Two days ago, plague broke out in the city, and they say they're going to transfer the population to safety areas to avoid contagion. All of a sudden, I'm overwhelmed with customers, and I'm going to make a killing. I only hope the plague never reaches this place. Day 21. Damn hammers. They came complaining that I stole their building. They claim I must give it back to them. What a nerve. If they wanted to keep it, they shouldn't have run off in the first place. I bought it off the town, so go complain to the mayor. Unbelievable. Once it is clean and rebuilt, buy the builder a brand new warehouse, let us retrieve it, my brethren. I went to see the mechanists to tell them that a group of hammers have settled in the district. They told me that they're partners of some sort now. I couldn't believe my ears. That Dreyfus looks completely feeble. And then coming back to the inn, I found that the Hammerites have locked themselves in the bedrooms where the old sacristy of the warehouse was placed. They're holding some kind of ceremony, it seems, but now only half the bedrooms are available. Where will my clients sleep now? The mechanist sent a group to watch over them. They turned up wearing some weird robes. First time I've seen anything like them. I hope they'll take care of those hammers. 
Huh, what a face the beast made when he saw the name of the inn. It was almost worth having him turn up in the first place. Secretly, she shouted. A terrible shadow over me. A ghost, a ghost. I've never seen such a thing. It reached out and robbed the sewer key from me. There was nothing I could do. The mechanist pursued it, but it disappeared like a cloud of dust. They forbade us to speak about it. They're hiding something, I know it. Me and the girls are locking ourselves in the kitchen. Day 22. By the builder, what a day. I don't remember a damn thing about what I was blathering about yesterday. Can't believe I actually wrote that. But now I don't have the key to the storeroom anymore. We're running out of food, and tomorrow there'll be nothing left to drink. On top of that, some Lady Melonia has turned up to ruin my day, and the Hammerites won't leave their rooms. I don't have enough rooms for everybody. I've also been obliged to post a list of the disappeared on the entrance door. Very appealing. Some Oriental people have come to trade with spices. I will try to bargain with them. Now the last thing we need is to have them giving trouble. So he had the key to the sewer, but he doesn't anymore. Well, that's not great news for me, is it? Uh, Alright. Some mysterious, horrible shadow took the sewer key. I wonder if that was Artemis. He's not that ugly. Sworn something was there. Gee, I must have imagined it. Come on. Let me grab the apple. There we go. Let me pick up the plate, the tray. Hey, do you mind if I take the food? I'm hungry. Don't worry, I'm a paying customer. I mean, what's the opposite of paying? I take money from here <laughs> instead of bringing it. Alright, well. I'll leave you to your cooking. I thought Stuart was supposed to be minding the kitchen. Ooh, this place gives me a call. Yeah, me too, lady. Alright. You know what, I will do a proper save here because, uh... I'll over overwrite my bad one where everything had gone to hell. Oh wait, this is the, uh... Let's not run. The upstairs that I wanted to see. An open window. I wonder if it goes anywhere interesting. here. Yeah, we're looking out over that that lower area. So I guess in theory this could be a easier way back in. Yeah, so last time the guard at the, guard at the front was, was really spooked by me. I mean, I got in without him alerting to me, but by the time I was up here, he just was first and second alerting the whole time. So in theory I could jump across to that. Okay, there's wood up there. Suitable for a repair. Not suitable for it right now, but... Just wondering about up, getting up there. Find it. Is that an openable door? Doesn't look like it. Let's just go back down like a normal person. This guy, this time, should not try to kill me as soon as I'm out, right? Friends, or at least temporarily not enemies. So yeah, north is this way, which is again going to confuse the hell out of me. Okay, I've got a lot of picks. I could get through one of these gates, but first... Let's head down the street and see what we've got there. This is as far as I played, because I got out here and everybody was just like... Chasing me around in circles. I mean, I ran around a bit in circles trying to evade them, but I didn't have any way. I kept picking up more. 
gods. It was it was extremely silly. Hello. Is this a security area? Yeah, I guess so. Ah, okay. This feels like it might be sewer access. Oh, I see. It's it's. I mean, it's sewer access, but you have to be small and made of poop. There's some drones around there. Hello. Day seventeen. I don't stand that nerval with his airs. Who he think he be? He not even in the mechanist's papers and the city watch ignores him. His latest whim is to put reinforced or reinforced windows. Don't remember how he talk. It's me that does the work and those windows are not easy to move. He better pay for it. Besides that, Brendan Namier had gone to the Hammerite Cathedral for that pil pilgrimage or the ceremony. They're hard heads. Don't matter if I tell them the mechanists are better, they don't listen. I'll see him back in two or three days. The 18. Nothing special. They kept installing Noble's windows. It was alright. It's like Patrick lost his temper that he don't want to take care of the sewers no more. Drank too much again, I'm sure. Poor fella, he struggled so much the city watch done daily. I heard strange things about the sewer myself, but I'd be sure there's mechanists and the machines that walk in there. Day 20. I forgot to write yesterday. Strange things going on. Seems there's bodies everywhere. I see guards running to the ramparts every 10 minutes, and there'll be mechanists and hammerites everywhere. At the inn it's hell, there'll be too many people in there, don't know where they'd be coming from. We can't drink in peace anymore. The noises in the sewers be louder, I hear screams and weird things, won't go down there no more. Mechanists have cut the pipes and water tunnels anyways. I have nothing important to do there. I'm sure it's the Orientals that caused all the mayhem. Brenda and Amy should be here any minute, but I'd be afraid they've done some trouble. A page is missing. It has been torn out. Day 22. It's done. It feels weird. He won't bother me like that anymore. And I paid myself back with glasses. I'm done gonna need to throw away this page. The mechanists come by to see me earlier. I thought that they that had seen me done it, but no. In fact, they took the key from Tunnel 21 and they locked the access to the sewers. I don't dare ask them why. They told me to keep my trap shut, but I don't care anyways. I gotta find a way to get back my uncle's small hammer. I forgot it in that one's house. If it be too risky, I was gonna have to leave it there. Tonight I was gonna have to find how to pass through the secure zone to find Brenda Nemi. Okay. Yeah, no good things are happening there, are they? We've got. Oh, we could get. Could jump into the sewers this way. Oh, hello. There's a. Watch the canal. There's a piece of paper in there as well. <coughs> Alternatively, yeah, I could just climb this ladder, couldn't I? That is a body. Bloodstained letter. Stuart. Please know that I do not appreciate the work that you have accomplished. Your inability to do this decent work inconveniences me greatly. Due, of course, to recent events, I very much needed to have solid and fully insulated windows. By the builder, you were not even able to install them correctly. When I went to open the dining room windows, they came off the hinges. I thought I would fall over from the weight. How am I to defend myself against thieves or attackers with such hor horridly botched work? And thus, I am writing you to tell you to cease all work immediately. I will instead go to the mechanists, as I should have done originally. Naturally, you should not expect payment. Is that Stuart? What's he doing down there? Oh, I see this connects. This is where the... Yeah, the same piece of river. A wet diary page. Day 21. I don't believe this taffer dared fire me. As if his tavern windows was all I have to care about. I still don't heard from my family, they're probably dead, and that one has given himself airs and sees my work done suit him. Please note that I do not appreciate the work you have accomplished. Your inability inconveniences me. Botched up work. 
We'll see if you don't pay me. Tricks are taken. I'll help. The rest of the parchment is mangled and unreadable. Ah, so that's not Stuart. That's... That's a person who I didn't make it to do windows. Hello. Where does this go? South. Wait, south from... Oh, this is probably maybe towards the... Uh... Oops. Let's not try and flash on the door. Okay, I'm gonna need a key. Uh, is the canal even marked on here? It's marked here. But that's running east-west. I guess it's running east-west here as well. Right, the canal's here. We are at the eastern end, which is this end. There's a glocked... You know what? Let's... It's key. Also, I don't know if it's relevant. Maybe it. Is. Maybe it is. All right. Fine night, isn't it? Officers? I mean, there's a secure window, right? The bathroom. Oh, hello. Are you dead or merely had several too many? Probably the latter. Again, I can't rope arrow up there as much as I would love to, or these guys will be on my ass. So, hello. Oh, hello. Still, I'm discovering new stuff. I hadn't read those letters before. I was running wildly. Circles, hello. It's an interesting little courtyard. Where's this gonna take me? I don't need to repair it. Um, that's not wine. He seems quite dead. What happened here? I don't know, but I'm not seeing any answers. Very odd, though, very concerning. Something up there. Oh. Little gold hammer. Is that Stuart's hammer or is that just. This seems like the window installation, right? Unless. Is that the guy that Stuart murdered? But then. Who's the guy in the canal? Maybe it is Stuart in the canal and he went to find his hammer and. Never came back alive. I feel like we found all there is to find here. Uh, Fine night, officer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> They uh, are not happy with you trying to pick the pocket from in front of them. Pick, take the arrows out of their, their uh, thing. Which makes sense, that's my quick saved. Alright. I think this gate here is not the one we should try to open because this one has not enough darkness. So 
So yeah, there's there is some loot up, up on that ledge up here. You need a rope out to get there, so I don't think at the moment that's what I should be doing. Is firing arrows around and getting a bigger mate. Are you alright, mate? Are you okay, sir? You seem frozen. Dark here either. Maybe the other one is darker. Let me just see. Can you drop anything valuable in this barrel? Can't climb those vines. I mean, it's. It is actually darker here, okay. She doesn't mind the doors being picked. Oh, I see, it's not super dark. The uh, light gem looks pitch black, but it was blinking yellow, so it means it was actually several shades lighter than fully dark, which is. Again, this is why I don't like custom light gems, is they usually lose some of the nuance, and they definitely lose the ability to recognize based on color you see. Oh well. I'll put up with that. not have weapons or a mountain like your friend there. calm down again. I need to wait for him to keep patrolling. I don't need the furniture in there anymore. Yeah, it was me trying to. Hello? 
Nobody here. I'm oh, just going to search for sure. It would be bad if I have to use my only flash bomb on this guy. Halt, weed. What are you allergic now? It feels like everybody on the main streets is allergic to me as well. Let's, uh. Sister Lena? I didn't see this guy's name. So if I do get back to the streets, they're all gonna be uh, on my case. That's great. Brother Sword and Sister Lena, I mean... Well, I'll just put you in a compromising position so that uh, you won't feel inclined to uh, tell anybody about this unfortunate accident, right? Unfortunate incident. That'll do. Or was there something under there? No. Just a table like. Creepy statues again. Valuable statuettes again. Hello, ripped up page. A20, J plus two. O oh, builder, what dost thou try to tell us? Hath not an eat living corpses to punish us? Was Keras a destroyer? A fig and a dreamers blind? I had learned that the Hammerites were spared by the walls of their cathedral, yet the factory hath been conquered by the power of the trickster. Why? Why dost thou not help us? Jack now wears the uniform of the old mechanists. He has told me that he has lost his faith days ago. What must I do? Doubt never racked me so. Hast thou chosen the hammer? And that tree, that tree that will not die. Where must I go? What must I believe? Town 21 key. Date world. Leaf and root be damned. Builder, a child of the trickster comes to taunt thee in the shadow of thy structure. For two days a tree hath been present in the courtyard. Thy children, unrooted, they soon find it again reborn against the metal walls. Yet its corpse from the day before still feeds the boilers of our machines. Another tree? I have thought of this, a joke from a pagan perhaps. But tis indeed the same tree that grows on you each time and deprives us of thy light. I am sure of it, and Fagin agrees with me. We know by its size and by its shape, but mostly from the angle of the branches that seem to point to the metal that comprises thy building. O oh, Master Builder, what evil pagan spell prevails? Day 14. The Beta Profundus project progresses quickly. Concerning the Omega and Alpha project, I have heard that its progress is steady, and that they shall emerge from the factory's forges fully operational. Dreyfus hath built two of the most magnificent machines ever created. He hath given life to children of the gear. O oh, Master Builder, none can curb thy will. A day shall come when Dreyfus walks by thy side, and, with Karas, they shall be blessed by thy holy breath that grants them its eternal accession to thy heaven of metal. Day 16. Nothing peculiar today. The builder grants us peace. However, I write to voice my anger and dismay. As part of the Beta Profundus project, we have entrusted the stabilization of the ore to various individuals worthy of our confidence. It was done this way to avoid repeating Karras' great error, namely the isolation of mechanist projects, that caused the majority of the rabble to be wary of our technology. Due to Karras' secrecy, the citizens feared our ingenuity because they did not understand it. Dreyfus be blessed for his cunning. Yet even this method entails troubles. Fagan hath uncovered a swindle involving an armour in the Red Quarter's black market. No one can tell me more. It appears that Dreyfus hath... I guess there's some words missing, but yeah. Okay, that's fine. Day 18. May the Builder help us. The trickster lurks in the heart of the city. Not content with character's defeat, he sets himself against the Age of Light and advances his minions. Unless it is the beginning of the Dark Times preceding the Age of Light. Yes, it is the only possibility. Karras hath foretold it. Yes, Builder, the gear will vanquish the putrid flesh and drive it again underground. Then thy children will cover the earth in metal and prepare for thy arrival. Soon thou shalt repel this earth and open the doors of the metal heaven where Karras waits for us, for Karras hath accomplished his task and shows the way. Day 19, D plus 1. 
Dreyfus, guide our steps. Let him speak in thy name, and thy will be done. Today he bestowed upon our orders new uniforms, which are crafted from the most innovative Magnus technology. They are designed to withstand the bite of that filth, and thanks be to Dreyfus's knowledge and vision, we have halted the advances of the Trixus minions. The Chosen, thy closest children, have punished the heretics that claimed the Woodside Quarter. None shall stop them. Praise Dreyfus, praise the Builder. May thou inspire us again and grant thy wisdom. The gear will prevail. The journal page has been torn out. Day 21, D plus 3. O oh, Builder, forgive me for doubting my intentions. In the tumult of these events, the trickster hath clouded my judgment. The dead emanate from the Hammerite Cathedral, for thou wish to show us the extent of their divergence. Only the gear approaches thy perfection. Thou attests the strength of our faith. Fear not, for Karis hath honoured thy will and taught your wisdom, and Dreyfus shall be his voice and avenge him against the pagans. The gear will crush the weak and imperfect flesh. Metal alone shall emerge victorious from this massacre, or thy will shall defeat the trickster's impotent artifices. Day 22, D plus 4. Last night a murder was committed in the neighbourhood. The city watch and Fagan suspect an individual by the name of Stuart, but he's a good man. He believeth in our technology, the builder's technology. Furthermore, he cares greatly for our machines. He hath protected the sons of the creation from the treacherous assaults of rust. Such a man canst not be wicked. Moreover, a while ago we blocked access to the sewers on Dreyfus's orders. What does he mean? Does he fear an attack from that filth? Would the trickster attempt something as villainous as an attack from the ground? Some speak about the use of necrotic mutox, but I... I think otherwise. Well... I see, this is... Overlooking the town streets, is it? Ah, uh, I see some blood there. So, before I go explore that way... Why am, I, why am I walking everywhere? It's just like I got in the habit of holding down shift and now I'm still doing it. So we knocked everyone out down here too because the, the guy with the light came up to investigate. So I am worried that when I go back to the streets, everybody's going to try and kill me, but. I guess that's a problem for another time. Children doth guard the way here. Yeah. I think that shall not be my primary way out. Oh, I didn't knock everybody out. You know what? Let's fix that, shall we? Brother Turgan and Brother Ma. Okay. Back upstairs then, and we can finally start. That doesn't open right, yeah. It's a difficult thing is I can't always tell which doors are which from a glance. I mean, it does have a handle, but it's the same texture as that one, right? It's kind of blue, rusty. Yeah, it's the exact same texture. So again, so again, let's walk up to a door to see if it's actually openable, rather than being able to see where the level ends. Alright. Well, I guess we need to go and check out this, this scene of this incident. But, um, that's going to be next episode. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon for the next one.